Over the span of BlackBerry's existence, a lot of interesting products have been released, and the BlackBerry Passport was definitely one of them. This thing was bulky, it had this perfectly square shaped display, and in 2022, after taking a look at this thing up close, it really made me realize how strange this smartphone really was. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at this thing up close and see what type of things are working in 2022. By the way, a portion of this video is sponsored by Exer, they make some awesome wallets, more on that later in this video. So I picked up this phone not too long ago, like a few months back on Facebook Marketplace, met up with some pretty shady person on there, but we got this thing today, it's been sitting for months, and the box itself looks pretty beat up, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this thing was in used condition of course, so it's not brand new or anything. I already took the phone out, so what's in the box here is basically the screen protector, which I don't even think is OEM, I'm pretty sure that's just some random screen protector that the seller put in there. And then underneath here, we have the little manual. So what's really interesting about this phone, of course, it's called the BlackBerry Passport. And the manual itself literally resembles a passport. So that's pretty cool, right? Like that's a like really small attention to detail, which is really cool to see. Just taking a look at all these photos, you can really tell that this product was really targeted towards a very niche demographic, mostly business professionals, those who are on the go, and those who are really like deep within the blackberry ecosystem it's definitely a very interesting device but probably not one that i would personally use um also inside this box we had like the headphones but those were completely empty and there was no charging wire as well it's just a couple of their manuals we'll leave those in the box for now so the phone itself like i mentioned it's in fair condition not the best condition the back is literally a dust magnet and um yeah it's just it's really hard to clean i tried to clean it so hard and this has actually been a pretty big issue with blackberries in general if you do a quick google search you'll actually see that this has been an issue with a lot of blackberries in the past so definitely not anything new um, but i'm sure a lot of you guys actually want to see me use this phone and see what type of apps work but before we do that, let's take a second to talk about today's video sponsor, Exer. These are some of the slimmest and smartest wallets on the market. These things are absolutely beautiful. I have the Parliament wallet right over here. Of course, I've been using my AirTag on the back, which is super convenient. And this thing can hold up to 12 cards, and it also has the quick card access where you can easily access all your cards. And they also sent over their MagSafe wallet as well. I love this so much because I can literally just put this on the back of my phone. Super convenient when I'm on the go. And as you guys heard from that sound, this is the tracker. Uh, Exer also sells this little card that you can put in your extra wallet if you ever lose it. So it acts similar to an AirTag. You guys can pair it with your phone, it's super convenient. So many different styles to choose from. If you guys are interested, head over to the link in the description box below. Use code iClassic to get up to 35% off. Thank you so much to Exer for sponsoring today's video. But yeah, back to the BlackBerry Passport. You know, using this device after a while, it's it's not the easiest device to use, I'm not gonna lie. Like that square shaped display almost makes it impossible for one-handed use. But overall, it's a pretty interesting design and the lock screen just looks pretty normal. There's not much going on here. The operating system is also very outdated. I believe this is BlackBerry OS 10, so very, very old. And of course, nothing is really gonna work because back in January of 2022, so a few months ago, I mean, almost a year back, um, they pretty much just shut off all the BlackBerry services, so nothing is gonna work anymore, unfortunately. Um, but you can still kind of see apps here, like this is like the Amazon, I believe the App Store, which is pretty cool to see. But I am gonna say, in general, the BlackBerry is not the device for you, whether it's a Passport or another device. Of course, if you have a collection that you sort of wanna add on over the years then go for it i think this device is really cool but app support is very very limited on this device as you guys can see i am able to use the internet for very basic functionality even playing a youtube video makes the ad cut out because uh, it's basically like square shapes so you're not going to see the full resolution of this video which kind of sucks and other things that you'll also notice when using this phone is just like the keyboard itself everything is so like spread out it's really really hard to type on this thing sometimes you have to use the touch screen sometimes you have to use the physical buttons so that can get annoying but one thing i did like a lot about this phone was the space bar you could use it to sort of scroll up and down kind of cool to see but you know overall blackberry did see its decline iphone started to take over in 2007 ever since then blackberry is sort of declined over the years and this website actually does a pretty good job explaining all the different products that blackberry offered and as you guys can see here, I do have a sealed iPhone 5S, by the way. If you guys want to see an unboxing on this in the future, let me know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is probably one of the weirdest smartphones that I've ever reviewed on this channel. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about this phone. But anyways, catch you guys on the next one.